on, bud. Come on. Come on, bud. Hello everyone, my name is Martina Luby. I am the reigning Miss Radio South Dakota and I'm coming to you from Custer, South Dakota. We just got finished with the Buffalo Roundup and what an honor it is. People wait a long time to be able to participate in something like this so I'm very blessed for the opportunity and I welcome you to come visit the Black Hills. Hey guys, okay, now we're down here at the Bison Corrals. Seems like a big event. Everybody's flooding down here um, and checking things out. So, uh, just met uh, Miss Rodeo, the reigning Miss Rodeo here of South Dakota, which is awesome. Super nice girl. Uh, beautiful horse. Can't imagine being on horseback. Uh, so, I give credit to all the horseback riders that are out here doing this. There was quite a few of them. I don't know exactly how many, but there was a lot of horses out here. I think everything went pretty smooth and one person got bucked off a horse, uh, but I think he's good. The herd was moving pretty slow. I think they took their time with them, and then kinda as it came a lot closer where the crowds were, they started, you can hear those whips. I don't know if I could pick the sound up or not, but they crack and whips and whatnot, and I guess that gets the bison going, gets the herd going, and so they run them kind of in the slash push, push to get them through, 
couple of gates into uh, basically a big holding area and that's pretty much the end of it and then the actual final push maybe took 30 minutes or so to get them in this big holding area down here at the bison corrals which is where I'm at right now pretty nice handling system and whatnot but uh, everybody's gonna have lunch and then we're uh, I make it to work some bison they pulled out 50 or so yesterday or the day before yesterday I believe they went and got 50 or so and that's kind of the show herd and this is where people can see them get worked uh, they get some vaccinations they get some tags and whatnot but they're getting all this ready basically for uh, for the sale and so this is a way for them to take care of the population at Custer State Park and uh, so they'll have a sale in November and that's what a lot of this is for and why they do it um, puts on a huge public event it's actually called the governor's roundup and uh, it was nice to see the governor here she uh, she fits right in she's a rancher and uh, she's a uh, she rode her horse through the whole thing and I think that was pretty awesome for the governor and the lieutenant governor was riding horses here at the bison roundup that's fun to see how cool is it to have your governor out here riding horses pretty cool to me pretty crazy that this is a public event uh, there's a lot of bison roundups in the country on private ranches and whatnot and other parks but nothing like this here a big huge public event at the Custer State Park just pretty cool to be part of this I want to thank Kobe head of, of a lot of the the media side of things and and coordination with all this and for the state park and this bison roundup I want to thank Chad Kramer the herd manager you've heard me talk about him went to his place and visit his ranch also I um, want to thank him as well letting me be a part of this and um, I'll see Chad a lot more uh, being a part of the National Bison Association and whatnot. Awesome people here, really nice, cool event. See a, there's a big tent set up right back here. So we're gonna grab some lunch and I'm gonna hang out with the, the family for a little bit and um, since I've been pretty busy. Can't wait to tell you more about it, but just a fun time here at Custer State Park. Good. I don't want to come in with these. Well, one year we come out here and nobody checked it in. Okay guys, we're back here. Luckily I saw Chad and stuff back here. This is the handling working facility here at Custer State Park. I'm kind of excited to be back here. This is a really nice system. First one up. Oh, this is 
tag. We'll see if he's got one of them. Chad. Number six, ALD. Five.